Hey, uh, look, I know we've all been there. We shoot a wedding or an interview. It's a lot of hustle and bustle. Chaos abound. We get home, sit down, bring up the audio files, and bam. Not great. Uh, what do you do about it, though? Me? Cry. You? Let's get into it. I had to go back and watch the last like five videos to make sure I wasn't wearing the same thing because I feel like I wear three outfits. Here's a new one. So it's audio. Uh, this video is gonna be about audio. Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't focus on when learning video and it's like half of what makes a video good. But not just audio. Uh, there are a ton of videos on YouTube about mics and all the gear, all that stuff. No, this is gonna be about some black magic witchcraft that is available now with AI that has absolutely changed the way that I do things with my speech audio. And personally, I haven't been as impacted by a single technology in my day-to-day -day since I installed my first bidet. So let's dive in here. Audio is super important. Think about a movie without audio. Music, sound effects, folly, a gratuitous Wilhelm scream, if you will. It just lacks life. Uh, music and sound basically introduce a huge portion of the emotion of a scene, whether you're thinking about movies, wedding videos, corporate work, it all centers around audio, background music, talking, sound effects, etc. And a lot of the talk about how to improve our videos sometimes just kind of skips over this part. <clears throat> I get that it's not as sexy as a new lens or a new camera body, but as someone who has a very musical background, Literally, it's always been my thought that a video is only as good as its audio. Take music videos, for example. I get super inspired when I work with a great artist whose music really speaks to me, but it's not just the song, it's how well it was mixed, produced, and mastered. All of the things that make it sound professional. I don't wanna get used to If you slap a poorly recorded song on a video and call it a music video, it's gonna really bring down the quality of the feel of the video. So when people ask me how to improve the quality of their videos, I usually recommend lighting first and sound second. These are the two cheapest things that you can do to instantly bump up the quality of the work that you put out. Now, all of the preamble out of the way, let's get down to the bread and butter. Meat and potatoes? the main course. Is the saying bread and butter? For a little while now, Adobe has had this web version of their podcast AI features, which include something called Speech Enhance. I believe they'll be rolling this out to Premiere Pro soon, as it's currently in the Premiere Pro beta version. No betas, only alphas. Now, what this does is use AI to enhance your speech file. That's it, and it has absolutely shaken up the way that I edit my weddings and corporate work. Anything with talking, basically. It makes audio that was recorded with a lav mic basically sound like it was recorded in a sound-treated studio. It removes a lot of the background noise, adds some compression and some light EQ to make the speech sound a lot cleaner. And it does it so well. Probably the best you've ever seen. Like it feels like cheating. I have two examples for you. The first is my own wedding. I know, someone married me. That means there is hope for everyone else. So during our wedding, it was unbelievably windy and the audio just kind of sucked. Like there's nothing I can do aside from putting like a big dead cat filter on my lav mic. And I just, it's my wedding. I didn't care all that much, but looking back, I was a little bummed that the audio was so bad. However, I cleaned it up as much as I could with the Denoise plugin in Premiere Pro, and I even tried to denoise it in Logic Pro, which is what I use for music recording. And through both of those applications, I couldn't get the sound anywhere as good as the results I got with the Adobe AI stuff. Instead of vowing things to you, I want to make a promise and then tell you why I want to marry you. The simple promise is that I will always work to grow with you. As we grow, we'll make our own roots, our own forest, and our own canopy. We'll spread our leaves to become better as individuals and partners. 
The tides will always shift, but I want to paddle the ocean with you. You are the best thing to come into my life, and I will always do what I can to give you the world and support, love, and everything else you need, including many ice cream trips. I'm marrying you because you make my heart feel whole, because life is way better with you in it. Isn't that unreal? Not to mention probably the best vows you've ever heard. Okay, I have one more example to play. In this one, I was filming private vows for a couple, mainly for audio, but I did end up getting some video clips as well. This was near a harbor where a lot of like seaplanes land and take off from. And in the middle of the vows, one starts its propellers and my heart sunk. But thanks to this new technology, I was able to make it sound a lot cleaner than I could have manually. So check this out. And now, here we are, finally. Confirming officially that you are mine and I am yours forever and always. So today I wanna to make some promises to you. I promise to be by your side every day. And every night, and to always cuddle you in the morning, even though you pretend you don't like it as much as I do. I promise to always put the toilet paper roll on the holder in the way that you like it. Like, I hate over-exaggerating things, especially when giving advice. Like, there is never a substitute for getting good, solid, clean input. Minimizing noise in your video, audio, pictures, all of it. It's always good to shoot well because you set yourself up for a greater chance of success. But it's just that sometimes uh, there are things that are out of our control where we can't always get another take, adjust unplanned things that happen. And that's where this fits for me. It really has elevated the average quality of my audio that I deliver in my videos and has taken weddings that I got amazing video, but maybe not the best audio. And it's really evened out both of those things so that my overall delivery was much cleaner and much more professional. Okay, so all we're gonna do is export our audio. Don't need to worry about the video for now. We're just gonna export AAC audio. Takes a few seconds, sometimes longer, depending on how grumpy the computer is. And then we're gonna open up Adobe Podcast Beta. Now I have an account, so I'm gonna sign in and no, you don't get my login credentials. And then I go ahead and I find my files. I believe you can try this service. And also I think there's a free version, but I'm not quite sure the limitations, so let me know. But once you upload your file, so you're presented with a screen like this, it's very simple, very bare bones. Basically all you're doing is adjusting the strength of the enhancement. I find around 75% is pretty good. Uh, you can play around, see what works for you. And then I import it back into the project. From there, I'll usually add a little bit of EQ and uh, just kind of mess around with the overall level just to sit well in the mix and that's that. Now, with all of this praise, of course there are downsides. Sometimes I find that it adds artifacting and voice where there isn't actually voice. Like it'll add in weird noises sometimes that you have to trim out that kind of sound like, like a random robot speaking gibberish. Or it will take someone's laugh and just make it sound like nonsense. So you have to be careful of the strength of the enhancement and you can kind of play around with that on the website, but it's not just like a plug and play. You do have to go back and make sure you're listening to everything once again, just to make sure it doesn't do anything kind of wacky. And also sometimes it sounds too sterile. Like I don't usually use this for an entire ceremony or the entirety of the speeches of a wedding, for example, but I will use this to clean up some audio for use in like the cinematic video that has some music and sound effects added in to make sure the ambience doesn't clash with anything. So now you know a little bit more about this neat AI feature and you can start to use it to your heart's content. Uh, talk nice to it because before you know it, AI will control our toasters among other things and they're gonna be shooting toast at us until we don't want toast anymore. Bye.